Would Crestor help reduce soft plaque and make it calcified? Yes, people give me a lot of hating for this. I've been a statin hater from day one. I actually probably delayed my own statin for about three years. But I do take low-dose statins, and I do recommend low-dose statins if you have plaque. If you have plaque, at that point, you've got cardiovascular disease. I recommend that you do take a low-dose statin. Rarely will I recommend a high-dose statin. And I also recommend maybe aspirin, because you have shown now you're in a different risk category. Remember, we went back and we talked about you went from 2% 10-year risk to somewhere between two and 40%, usually 10 to 20% risk. And you can knock that back down to the 2% with lifestyle. And again, a couple of medications. When and if you develop hot plaque, you're not gonna feel it, you're not gonna know it. So if that hot plaque goes in and touches the bloodstream, it'll decrease the formation of clots. And there's a thing called pleomorphism pleiotrophic mechanisms. The prefix plea is scientifically and in astronomy and medicine means multiple. It turns out that statins have a pleiotrophic mechanism. Not only do they decrease LDL, they also have been demonstrated to decrease cardiovascular inflammation. And it was discovered by a couple of guys, they were at Harvard, and they did this with the Jupiter trial, the WASCOP. They first started noticing it in studies like the WASCOPs studies. And what they found was, they found people where their LDL was lower and it got higher, but they still had decreased heart attacks when they went on a statin. What they found was that statins also decrease cardiovascular inflammation. They decrease that part where your immune system starts attacking that plaque and therefore creating those clots. So that's what they did. And the other thing that they found out was there are certain statins that are better than others in this space. And really low dose statins are what's necessary, not high dose. So with the very low doses that we use, it's rare that we get significant statin side effects. For example, with Crestor, five milligrams at most per day, usually we'll do like two and a half or often we'll do two and a half every other day or twice a week. Levalo or Patavastatin is a low dose, kinder, gentler statin. And we use a lot of that. In fact, mostly what we use is very low dose rosuvastatin or Lavalo. We don't recommend use of Lipitor. Lipitor is great at decreasing LDL, but it's not so good at inflammation, especially in two situations. One is if you're a female, well, that's half the population already, unless you consider the fact that males get into this first. But the reality is once you age, you get issues with females too. So there you go, half your population, Lipitor doesn't do as well with cardiovascular inflammation. Here's the bigger issue though. If you have prediabetes. Well, that's over 80% of the population that's having cardiovascular disease. If you have prediabetes or diabetes, Lipitor is not as good at decreasing cardiovascular inflammation.